girl's wall is looking better. Come on, ma'am. You still got all the stuff right here. Okay. Now, can you spell cap? C A P. What about map? M A P. What about tap? T A P. What about sap? Just like cap, just like map, just like tap. Sap. Try again. Uh, S C P. I mean. Oh, S A P. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hmm. One more. Um. C C C W. Right. Let's cut this bill. That last bill with a cap. R E P. Try again. R A D P. Good R -A -P. job. Y'all, I'm not done watching this show, but I just had to put y'all on. I mean, this movie. This movie literally has me laughing so hard y'all can see i'm like probably one fourth done with it two thirds done with it listen this this is a good movie it's funny and that's my favorite kind of movie movies that make me laugh so if you're at home this week and i do nothing put it on y'all this is going to be the best lunch ever. So this is mayonnaise with horseradish mustard. Oh my gosh, it's so freaking good. And then of course, these are pigs in a blanket. They're Oscar Mayer. So good, so good, so good. On it, meow, meow. Yeah. All right, stand in that, on that side. Go on that side so I can record. Do I look like anxiety? Yeah. The brown pants for sure, but I couldn't find a long sleeve striped shirt. And definitely not the brown and orange ones. But this does have brown and orange in it. If you can tell, it has brown and orange in it. So. Hi, I'm anxiety. Why is anxiety in the bathroom with me? Mm -hmm. Alright y'all, we got the Krabby Patty meal. Mm -hmm. The kelp fries, the pineapple house um, frosty, and then I also got nuggets, honey mustard, of course. The kids got Krabby Patty nuggets, Krabby Patty and nuggets. Deshaun got Krabby Patty and nuggets. I mean, Krabby Patty Chili. and fries, chili, and a Sprite instead of his thing. And of course, we're going to watch Spongebob Family Night. I'll let y'all know what it's tasting like. I see this sauce busting off the seams. I do not like onions, but I'm going to take the first bite with the onions just to see how it is. And, um, yeah, guys. The pineapple got the bottom, so I'm just going to go ahead and take... It's not bad. I wish it had more flavor, like, layered in there, but it's pretty good. All right. Let's get into this burger with onions that I don't like. Oh, and it doesn't have tomatoes on it. Mm -hmm. I think I, it does have pickles. So it has lettuce, pickle, and onions. Cheese, two patties, even though we ordered a couple single ones, they gave us all doubles. Anyway, 
Oh, and that Krabby Patty sauce. So let's see. To be honest, I don't taste the sauce. You taste the sauce? I don't really taste it that much. Okay. I'm gonna taste it and get to the end. Yeah, I don't really taste the sauce. I know I'm gonna take these onions right on off. <laughs> I do not like raw onions, y'all. All right, we're gonna enjoy family time back. Don't mind my ass, y'all, but this is the fit. And yeah, so we just left out of there. Um, they gave the kids um cookies and water and coats and gloves, actually. They had a couple hats, but we weren't able to get them. They had um a couple different um gloves, scarves type of thing, but when I got up there they were already gone. Um so yeah. It was nice um you did have to put your name down i guess to see who received it but other than that it was nice everyone was very um friendly and they said that they are part of the star haven so yeah check it out and see if you have one of these in your area um i heard about it through the elementary school that my kids go to so just uh i don't have facebook or anything like that but if you have facebook i'm sure they're on facebook because they were recording so i'm sure they have some type of social media platform it's called the star haven um so yeah and people were just picking up coats so i don't even think that you necessarily need to have a kid with you in order to get the coat honestly um as y'all know deshaun has kids so i was looking for his kids and stuff but um they're in a, a bigger size than my kids and i didn't see their size but there was people standing outside waiting and i didn't want my kids to be like agitated by standing outside waiting in the line so i waited until everybody that was waiting outside got into the library to go in so we got here very very early we got here around 9 30 and we waited for 30 minutes but people were actively waiting outside so we were the first ones here um but because people were literally waiting outside in the line we got in not it was probably only like 10 people in front of us but they they grabbed a lot of stuff <laughs> so um we were able i was able to find a coat for them not necessarily a coat um it's more so of a jacket you know um they did have coats that would like actually keep you warm but in my kids size they didn't have any left so yeah i would say you know take the chance and stay outside you probably would get a better picking but i mean we still got something so i still call that a win um now we're on to target because I'm a cancer. It smells like warm amber and coconut. It smells so good. This is the top to it, but it keeps coming off. And then I got this light that was supposed to be $5, but it rang up as eight. So a little bit upset about that, but I need this for my um, desk. And then we got this baseball thing with the ball, a soccer ball. And y'all, I've been influenced by freaking princess y'all know from the butler family functions y'all i've been influenced i got them they're three dollars at target i hate dark chocolate but i'm gonna try it out all right y'all so we just stopped to get burger king right fast um i got the kids the whopper jr and a dr pepper and i got a water and i'm gonna try my true fruit i'm meeting my sister at one o'clock um for chipotle date so that's why I'm not eating. It's like 1.15, so. Got about 45 minutes, so. 
I'm just gonna sit here and watch um, the Adam Family cartoon on YouTube and wait till one o'clock so we can go on our date. So yeah. All right, YouTube. So we went in Dollar Tree and Dollar Tree did not have any bags, but the kids got these buckets because you know, we're doing the trunk or treat on um, Tuesday. So they put everything that they got in here. So I'm just gonna show y'all right quick. Deus is in kindergarten and um, in order to help him, you know, um, get familiar and fluent with reading we got these level one books so this one is dc super friends this one is um time to be a hero pj mass and then dad's got a few cars that he um saw that he liked okay um and then two of these um washcloths and that is it so next up is okay fat. next is fat girl she chose the purple bucket that dollar tree had and fat girl got a trolls cup um some of these lollipops a phone i don't know why because she actually has a real phone and then batteries for their tv remotes okay guys so as y'all know we're doing trunk or treat so i did get um these uh -oh. So I got these other two because they only have four options. So this one might be for Deshaun's son if he comes with us. If he doesn't, then I don't know what I got it for. Um, and this is for me to actually pass out candy for Trunk or Treat and also just at home. Um, and then this box, like I said, they didn't have bags, so I just put all of these. If y'all have seen our home, if y'all have seen our house, um, then you know that Deshaun has a Hot Wheel wall. So basically, I just got him some more to add to his collection um of course i checked to make sure he didn't already have them and he said he didn't um some of them are the same ones that dad got because they just like them so much um so yeah i just got him a couple of those and then guys they did not have bags, so I saw this at the checkout, and it said, Chaos Coordinator. If y'all know, I have two kids, they're 13 months apart, it's always chaos, okay? And I have to coordinate it, I don't have a choice. So anyway, I got these um, four colors because I'm going to decorate my trunk, and I'm so excited for y'all to see that vlog on Tuesday. Um, it might drop Wednesday, actually, but Tuesday the 22nd is when we're going to do it, and I'm so, so, so excited about it. But yeah, so I got these colors because these look like spooky colors, right? And then I'm going to basically lay out the black one um, because my trunk is a little like, not dirty because I just cleaned it out. But anyway, I'm going to lay the black one out and then I'm going to cut the green, the orange and the purple and put it like along here. Okay. I also got some of these skeleton hands to like lay out probably on top of the bucket that i'm giving out candy just for like that little spooky effect guys there's so many freaking um i don't know i don't know if y'all can see that on camera but like there's a bunch of freaking mosquitoes just swarming around here okay we got um restocked on some cleaning supplies so awesome spick and span knock off pine some knock off scrubbing bubbles okay and then I also got the knockoff pink stuff because the kids, as y'all saw earlier in this vlog, they were cleaning the walls and they did a pretty good job, but there's still a little bit more. So it just needs a little bit of this and some elbow grease, so I'll take care of it. And then for my face, um, I was all out of my um, Noxzema pad, so I just got a little bit of witch hazel. It works the same. Um, this, I saw this and we love having game nights at our house. So I don't know how to play this. I've never seen it before, but I got it because it's adult 25. And then a calculator because if y'all know, I work from home now and um, I actually start my first day tomorrow. Wait, no, not tomorrow. Tomorrow's Sunday. I start my first day Monday and I'm so, so excited. Um, but just to eliminate the fact that I have to open so many apps, you know, this is one less app I have to open. So I just got a calculator for dollar 25. Also a holy Bible because guys, I have been trying my hardest to stay consistent with God. Um, just staying consistent with accepting his love and wanting his love. Um, I feel like sometimes I feel like I'm not worthy of being forgiven or, you know, I've just sinned too many times. 
things like that and I just feel like um, a lot of times I watch inspirational people on YouTube and you know they let me know that like no matter what you do like God isn't a petty person and I feel like it's time for me to read it for myself you know um and I feel like that might sorry y'all <laughs> another freaking mosquito see y'all look can y'all see it anyway so I just feel like that'll help me a little bit more like reading it for myself versus hearing it from other people um my parents obviously brought me up in a church but again it's always better to like hear it and see it for yourself and then of course these sticky notes because my phone my work phone um has like six buttons no nine buttons my phone has nine buttons however you can't see what the buttons are unless you're looking at the actual display screen so i'm gonna go ahead and write what each of them mean so anyway that is our haul from dollar tree we spent 55 dollars, which is very much a lot for the dollar tree but we literally got everything that we freaking needed as far as for trick-or-treat as far as for um me starting work and um cleaning and you know just everything the kids got a few things that they didn't necessarily need um but you know i feel like personally i feel like it's hard to say no to the kids when i'm in dollar tree because it's just like dude it's a dollar but the thing is like some a lot of times they literally don't be needing it like a lot of times they literally don't need it and i still be like yeah just get it but that's why they have so many freaking toys now and that's why we're gonna go through a lot of them and disperse of them okay but anyway like i mentioned to y'all earlier i was waiting for my sister so we can go on a chipotle date they got stuck by a freaking train so that's why i initially went into dollar tree because they were like running a little bit behind so the next clip y'all will see me and my sister at chipotle I don't know if I'm bringing the kids or not, but I'll be at Chipotle the next time you see me. So, okay, bye. Mm -hmm. Romeo. Good job. Yes. Is that yours? Wow. If it's yours, yeah, what? you can have it. What? It. So it's actually what? eight. Eight. This part is eight. Eight. So if you add a W in front of eight, what is it? Wait. Mm -hmm. For us, gecko and Catboy said Romeo at at is is. Catches. Mm hmm I'll let. Right. Uh, Gecko and Catboy helped her. Is E help? No, you said that word, right? E. This is another mm -hmm. word. Eh. Escape. Good job. Hey y'all, so right now um we are at Macy's waiting on my sister. So she has homecoming tonight. Um so she's getting her makeup done right now. We were supposed to have a date at one o'clock. It is now almost four o'clock. <laughs> but I just got the um Chipotle. So so we are waiting on them to come out they said that they're done so they're just i guess paying and coming on out we're gonna go back to my mom's house and eat the food instead of eating at chipotle so that my mom can do her hair while she's eating and um yeah y'all that's probably about it for today um i might show y'all what it's giving what the outfit is giving um i don't know if i'm dropping her off or if my mom's dropping her off probably my mom because i think she has to go pick up somebody one of her friends or something okay look this is my mom so we're on the move guys so all right so y'all we are on the move let me go before i get left so for my mom's apartment um complex you have to basically um 
you basically have to freaking like have a code so that's why i was like okay instead of just going back to her house and having a park and a visitors let me just wait for her so that's what we did um so yeah we about to go sit down and eat chill out for a little bit and i will probably show y'all what i got y'all when i tell you the freaking guy making my food was so rude like and this is why i don't go out anymore like it's not worth it it's really not worth it people are so rude and i'm spending my money that i worked hard to get times are literally hard and i'm still coming out here giving back to the economy like i expect you to not be rude to me like period and mind you when I when I have when I have my kids with me, I typically tip no matter if a service is being provided because y'all know about the little tip culture going on. Typically, if I have my kids with me, I tip regardless just because kids are gonna be kids. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna talk, they're gonna play with stuff. You know, they're gonna do a lot. And to me, that's not a kid being bad. That's just a kid being a kid. But anyway, like I said, I typically tip. For that reason, when the kids are with me, baby, the kids is with me and I still didn't tip him because you're rude. Like, and mind you, I don't even think it had anything to do with the kids. Like, he just, I don't know if he just didn't want to be here. I'm not sure, but like, I don't play that. I don't play that. No. I don't care if the service was absolutely am amazing, but then one person was rude, you just messed it up for that other person no i don't play that um so anyway if y'all how do y'all feel about tip culture because for one i don't like tip culture period i feel like if you did a good enough job for me to tip you then cool especially because every everything is going up in the world all of the prices are going up yet the service is the same i don't get five more minutes ten more minutes of hot stones or five more minute extra uh, massage. I don't get five more minutes of anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't get an extra top coat, baby. I don't get a free design on one toe. Like, I, you know, I don't get anything extra. You know what I'm saying? I'm not getting any, like, nobody's giving anything out for free. Nobody's adding anything onto the services, but you want to up your price. You know what I'm saying? And I get it because the economy is bad. However, it's just, you know, it's like, how does service decline, but prices are, you know what I'm saying? You're, you're providing the same exact service. Your customer service is worse, but the price is up. That just, it just doesn't make any sense to me. And that's not everywhere. Sit back now. That's not everywhere, but it's enough places. <laughs> so yeah, I just, I don't, I don't fool with Andrea. Anyway, it's not everywhere, but it is literally, it is at enough places. And so, yeah, I don't, I don't fool with that at all. But anyway, um, yeah, y'all hear my freaking kids in the back whining like they don't got no daggone home training. But yeah, y'all, um, somebody tried to call me, so I guess I'll try to call them back. I don't know. We'll see. But, um, yeah. I don't know what my kids are worrying about, but... Oh, that's what I was saying. That's what I was saying about the kid thing. So, yeah, if your kid... Like, I feel like no matter what... I literally feel like no matter what... If the service didn't go above and beyond, then I'm not giving you a tip. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I asked for my hair to be done one way and you said, yeah, I could do that. But then you didn't do it the way I asked you're not getting tipped I don't care how much time it took you're not getting tipped because I asked you for this and you lied and said that you could deliver this and you didn't um you know as far as Chipotle goes I understand that you are manually you know putting the things in the bowl like you're actually preparing the food for me um it's not like a cook did it and then you just brought it out to me so I understand asking for a tip but I understand asking for a tip because I guess you're technically doing something, but I don't know. I feel like you got paid. You know what I'm saying? Like your check is for you doing that. Like that's your job description. I feel like getting a tip 
means you're doing something other than your job description. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, like, if you were like, ooh, girl, like, you know, ooh, if you dyed your locks, like, that would look so good on you. You look so beautiful. And then you don't charge me for dyeing my hair. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, babe. Like, because you gave me a recommendation. It actually turned out good. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you didn't charge me for the service because you were the one that wanted me to do it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, okay, babe. I'm finna tip you for that. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, he was very rude. And like I said, like, my kids weren't even like, um, talking or messing around or doing anything like that. So like, yeah, I definitely did not tip him. But typically I do tip people when I bring my kids regardless. Like, like the last time we went to Chili's, I don't know if y'all saw, seen that vlog. Um, obviously I tipped well because we had our kids, even though I clean up after my kids. I understand that that's your job. I still clean up after my kids. So it's just like, I really don't like that tip culture, especially when you just set the tip jar that's so annoying because it's like for one you're not doing anything to earn it number two you didn't even ask me well you're not supposed to ask but it's just like that's like homeless people when i see a homeless person i give them money because i want to give them money if you have a sign i'm not like i'm not even looking at you in your face like you're not existing to me because you're begging like no if you did absolutely amazing and you know there isn't a jar out and it didn't ask me do you want to add a tip then I'll probably slide you five dollars because wow, like this service was amazing and you didn't even ask for anything, you don't expect anything cool. But baby, anyway, I'm driving and talking, talking and driving. The kids is getting on my dag on nerves, they keep asking me to open up soda in the car. So I'm gonna go. Um, and I will show y'all what I got. I got the brisket, so hopefully it tastes good. I also got the vinegar and the sour cream on the side, so I can go ahead and drizzle that over it. And then I got guacamole on the side and a large chip. Just because the kids claim they didn't want anything from there, but I know they're going to ask me for my food. And my mom said she didn't want anything from there either, but I'm pretty sure she wants some guac and chips. So, yeah. So, me and my sister finna eat. And I guess the kids are going to chill out on their phones when we get to my mom's house. But, yeah, I'll see y'all. Can someone explain to me why this looks like this? It looks like a bugle. Bugle looking at... What is this? What is that? Me and this... These are our Roblox names. We're in a hot air balloon in Paris. Yeah. Looking at the Eiffel Tower. How cool. Mom. Yeah, we're flying over. Y'all, look at this freaking cup. My man got me this cup. It's color changing, as y'all can see. I put Sprite in here. And because it's cold, it changed colors. And baby, we got some Pringles, salt and vinegar Pringles. And I'm going to watch my girl bat Nana. Yes. So, y'all, um, please don't mind this stuff on my face. I um, am breaking out a little bit. So, yeah, um, it is Sunday. And I'm just chilling. It's like 4 o'clock, waiting for the steak to um unthaw so we can go ahead and make sun. Well, so I can go ahead and make Sunday dinner. Tomorrow um, is my first day, my first real day, because I've been training so far. So I'm a little bit nervous about that, but baby, I got everything set up already. Matter of fact, let me go show y'all. Let me show you all. I got my sticky notes, I got my calculator, and I got my little notebook. Matter of fact, I forgot a pen. So let me go grab a pen. Yes, y'all. So look right here. I got my calculator from the Dollar Tree, the notepad from the Dollar Tree. I mean, sticky notes. And then my neighbor gave me this for my birthday, and then just a pen bag. And then I got my light down here from Target. So yeah, y'all. I'm very much ready to go ahead and start my work week. 
Tuesday, um, I have off because Factor has a doctor's appointment. And we're doing the, um, what are we doing? Trunk or treat on Tuesday. So I need time because I don't get off till 8. So I work 11 to 8 now instead of 9 to 5.30, <sighs> which is very annoying because I started off working 8 to 5. Then it went from it went from eight to five to nine to five thirty, and now it is eleven to eight. So I'm a little bit annoyed, but it is what it is. I still don't have to work weekends, and um, my break is at four thirty. So I'm gonna clock out at four thirty every day and go get the kids. Um, so yeah, I mean, you know, it still works out. At the end of the day, a job's a job. And baby, I sleep well at night knowing that my man pays for all of the bills. So, <laughs> like, how good could it get? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not trying to be funny. I'm not trying to, you know. But at the end of the day, my man pays all the bills. So, having a job is a blessing. Having a job, well, having a man that provides is a blessing. Number two, having a job period is a blessing. Three, being able to spend that extra time with my kids in the morning time, but also being able to pick them up every single day and still getting a bag while doing so. Um, yeah, I'll take it. And also not working weekends. Like, yeah, it's blessing on blessing on blessings over here. And I'm just glad that, you know, through it all, we're still here. I know I look crazy. I know for a fact I look crazy. But anyway, yeah. I'm just waiting for the steak to thaw um, so I can go ahead and make dinner. And I just want to thank y'all for watching this video to the end. Um, I don't really know how structured it is until I edit it. But that's basically my weekend anyway. Like I have a very crazy, weird, all over the place. Like that's just my genu genuine life. Like shit happens, we deal with it, we keep going. So anyway. That is it. Um, not really sure what next weekend will hold, but I know for a fact right now I'm looking into Christmas vacations. So we'll see what that is looking like. I know for a fact we're going somewhere, but I don't know where. Um, so after this vlog on, so I'm gonna drop this vlog tomorrow, Monday, and then on Wednesday, y'all will see the vlog of the trunk or treat, which is me getting ready me setting up the car probably show y'all a little bit of the kids coming to get the candy whatever that'll be that it'll be a quick vlog i'm sure but y'all will get that video of the trunk or treat um and then i'm not really sure after that but again thank y'all so much for watching and i will see y'all next weekend